uh, what I'm excited to show you, um, I'll quote like the, the, the three little pigs demo. Um, and uh, if our uh, animal handlers, we're bring, bringing out the, the pigs. And what we're going to show you is a, well, I'll walk right over and show you. So what we have in pen number one is Joyce. Uh, and she does not have an implant. <laughs> Obviously, healthy and happy. Um, <laughs> we're trying to get Gertrude out. And this is how you know it's a live demo. So here's Dorothy. Um, and in the case of Dorothy, um, Dorothy used to have an implant, and then we removed the implant. So this is a, a very important thing to uh, demonstrate, is reversibility. So if you, if you have a neural link, and then you decide you don't want it, or you want to get an upgrade, and the neural link is removed, um, is it removed in such a way that you are still healthy and happy afterwards? And what Dor Dorothy illustrates is that you can put in the neural link, remove it, and be healthy, happy, and indistinguishable from a normal pig. Oh, thanks, Dorothy. <laughs> Here we go. Great. OK. Great. <laughs> OK. This is a. High energy pig. Um, all right, Gertrude, thanks for coming out. Um, so, what you're, the, the beeps you're hearing are real time signals from the neural link in Gertrude's head. So, this neural link connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So, whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, the, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected here. Um, and so, on the screen, um, you can see uh, each, each of the, the spikes from the 1,024 electrodes. And, and then if, you, if she, yeah, she snuffles around, touches this out in the ground, or you kind of feed her some food, pigs love food, um, then uh, you, you can see the neurons um, will fire much more than when you're not touching this now. And uh, that's what's making the, the beeping sound. All right, cool. So as you can see, uh, we have a uh, healthy and happy pig, um, initially shy, but obviously high energy and, and uh, you know, kind of loving life. And uh, she's had the implant for two months. So this is a healthy and happy pig with an implant that is two, month old, two months old and working well. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> Um, and then um, we actually have, I'm sure if this works, is, so we said, well, what if we do two Neuralink implants? Um, and we've been able to uh, do uh, dual Neuralink implants uh, in, th um, actually, I think three pigs at this point, And we have a couple of them here. Um, and we've been able to show that you can actually have multiple Neuralinks implanted. Um, and again, healthy and happy and indistinguishable from a normal pig. So. Um, so it's possible to have multiple links in your, in your head and have them all be sending out signals and be working well. All right, so we just showed you a demonstration of uh, reading brain activity. And um, let's see, you probably see that. Um, as I was saying, uh, each of those dots represents a neural spike. And the, um, the, the blue chart at the bottom is showing an accumulation of neural spikes in that region. So uh, in, in, in terms of additional uh, brain reading activity, uh, when we have, um, say, um, one of our pigs on a treadmill, <laughs> pig on a treadmill, <laughs> um, it's a funny, funny concept, really. Um, and we uh, take the, the readings from the neurons, and we try to predict the posi position of the joints. Um, and so we, say we have the predicted position of the joints, and then we, we measure the actual position of the joints, you can see that they're almost exactly aligned. So we're able with um, a wireless neural, imp neural implant to actually predict the position of, of all of the limbs uh, in the pig's body uh, with, with very high accuracy.